mermaid. I just want to give you an update. So I'm in the matrix. Yeah, I'm in the matrix. Uh, yeah, so right now I'm at a point where I need to heal right now because, um, yeah, period's been so bad. So I just got a really nice, this steak was just a nice cut for eight bucks. I just got it at the, um, and it's crazy because my head has been hurting so bad. I have the worst headache ever. And it's just, just even one little bite, just one little piece of this meat and like, I just feel so much better, so much better. So I have everything here to make my Cenefit sauce, which I do with the, okay. Hold on, I have, so I've got garlic, crushed garlic. I've got ground mustard and we're gonna make it. Oh boy, it's getting hot out here now, y'all. It's hot, <laughs> really hot. And man, their Wagyu was sorry. So y'all need to be aware in the city here, um, that is not Wagyu that they've been selling out here. Yeah, so I just wanna let y'all know, uh, so this meat had a, uh, it had a security tag on it. Um, like, you know, in case somebody steals, so damn, damn. But um, pretty good, pretty good still, but I just see that the Wagyu looks totally different than the Wagyu in the mountains, and it's the same brand. It's, it's that, you know, just Colorado car brand, so. All right, so I'm gonna make my sauce so I can dip this in the sauce. But I wanted to get a few bites, like. Oh my God, it's two bites raw, and it's so good. You know, this is actually, I don't like beef raw but this is actually really good this is my first time having i think it's my first time having a new york steak raw i would get grass fed and i don't like the grass fed meat raw this tastes really good oh yeah that is good okay Okay, so I have some orange juice to have with it. And I brought an orange, so I got, this has 120, um, no, 160 milligrams of vitamin C. So this way we'll be able to absorb our iron good. Yeah, that got stuck in my cigarette. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing today is I'm gonna chill here and get some sunlight because um I can't be I can't be without the sun I gotta be in the sun so like even though I'm in the city like in this I'm at this park kind of and yeah it, it's different but I guess it's just kind of like hey you know so I am here in the city Hoping that I could find people that want to move to the mountains, live outdoors, that want to live free, that want to get out of the matrix. So if you want to get out of the matrix, go ahead and get in contact with me. My email is mermaidofmesopotamia at gmail.com. Looking to get my soul tribe out of this matrix and get my soul tribe moved to where there's good water, good air, good food. So if y'all want to go ahead and you want to come and you want to go do some off-grid stuff and go outdoors and get out of this shit with all these buildings, pollution, all this mess, go ahead and contact me. You know, I will be here for an amount of time. Not, I'm not going to be here that long, though. But what I'm here is I'm coming here to get my people out of this shit. Because what is about to come, and it's all going to crash here. It's all going to crash here, collectively. And I'm trying to get my people out of this shit before the crash comes and they come and they're trying to take all your lives. Everybody. This goes for the whole collective. So if you want to, you know, go on this journey with me, if you want to do it, I'm definitely looking for a try. That would be great. So other than that, 
That's my message. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my meat. I gotta go. I'm gonna make this sauce now. Ooh, I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna tear this up. Okay. All right. So I gotta get going. I love y'all so much. <laughs> This is the best way to get the iron that your body needs, the B12 your body needs, like makes it bioavailable very quickly. This is why um, I eat raw meat. Uh, specifically, I mostly crave the raw meat, I wanna say just really during my period. That, and this has been very helpful for me. Um, let's take another good bite. <laughs> So I highly recommend if you are dealing with heavy bleeding, heavy, you know, I, I've tried iron pills, I've tried it all, none of it helps. Only this helps. So got this today, got some liver, we're gonna eat that later. I'm trying to get my skin, cause my skin tone each day that I'm, I'm bleeding more, my skin tone is getting lighter, paler. So that's also why I'm kinda trying to be out here in the sun and do this, so yeah. All right, so that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> okay, it's getting very windy. <laughs> but I'm feeling so much better guys oh my god my mood so let me tell you guys so um I actually brought a pack of cigarettes due to the fact that I have not been eating my I haven't been getting enough b12 or something they said my b12 is normal but I don't believe these doctors I don't I don't believe it it's a lie um so I get this like feeling at the bottom of my feet and by the way this is the sauce I made I, I put yellow mustard in it but it's a yellow mustard the ground one but it tastes different, so I gotta fix it up. Cause I, I do it like I don't know, each time I make the sauce different. But um, I brought a pack of cigarettes, and it's so bad. It's so like horrible. How like low my B12 gets, and it's been causing like just like me to have a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression, and um, it's been killer. It's really been killer. But eating this way, this is this is quickly instantly like restores me. Like eating this way is actually like very medicinal for me. So whatever it is about this diet, about eating this way, like I, I don't know what it is, but it just makes me better, especially the liver. Yeah. <laughs> so I've had a few bites of my steak so far. I'm just cutting it and just eating it the same way that I did and just dipping the sauce. Oh, it's so good. But I think the sauce, see, the thing is I usually add more herbs. So I'm going to get really creative with the sauce. I want to add like oregano, um, I don't know, some other herbs. I did use this lemon juice, but I don't know. It's like got chemicals or some shit with it. So other than that, you know, I... I'm not gonna smoke another cigarette. It's just like whenever I, I just have to like remember, okay, when my B12 is getting so low, when I'm like bleeding like this, like I have to eat like this. So like it just it, it fixes it. I I don't know. I have no idea. So there. Oh my god, you guys! Big ass like jet plane just flew up, and it was like an Air Force plane. I think I don't know, but man, so crazy. Um, it kind of tastes a little bit like wasabi, but. A little like wasabi, but it's not super spicy, but it has like a a bitterness to it, which is why I did this. It's just totally different than what I usually eat. <laughs> so I put a lot of, actually a lot of the ground mustard in here. I mixed it with some lemon juice, some olive oil, Celtic salt, and that's not usually how I make this. I just have to... But I'm at a park, so I'm like, okay, let me just get like the McDeasy version. I don't know. I'm just like, I just need this like dipping sauce. It's just really good with the raw meat. So I'm gonna try Ethiopian food for the first time. Um, I think it's gonna be sweet. So it is a little bit expensive. I see the restaurant's a little pricey, but you know, I feel like you know it's something I've never tried. It's, it's just, I think it's thirty dollars a plate, uh, or something like that. So I'm thinking about trying that because um I want to see how. They season their raw meat. I want to see how it um how it tastes. But, uh, I think it's called I think it's just called Tesco or I can't 
can't remember the name right now. I can't. And Jira, he's done some other stuff. So, I'm thinking, hey, I'll try it. Try something new. I, I, I love trying new things. See, when I was younger, I never tried, I never would have done this. I never would have tried like, anything new, but I'm like, so I've gotten older, I'm trying like new things, you know? So that's the cool thing. <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead. Gonna kill these eggs. And I've been needing to eat these. So this definitely also is something here that helps me feel so much better. Pull that off there. Okay. Perfect. There we go. And it feels really good just eating the yolk. I actually really like the taste of the yolk. If I do end up throwing this away, I know it's going to be considered like a waste of food, but at this point, this is like, I don't do this often, this is very, it, it, this is kind of rare, you know, that I, I do this, but I might save it, I just don't know like what I, what I can do with it, but yeah, I gotta just have the yolks, because I can't have this, yeah, I can't have the whites. <laughs> okay, so I'm just finishing up, um, I have my last four eggs here. So I know that this, see the thing is that this is an emergency, so this may be seemed as food waste, but truthfully, if you are severely anemic, you are gonna wanna avoid the whites. You're just gonna want the yolk. This is very high. The yolk is extremely high in B12. So the truthfully, the whites, yeah, it's a protective film that actually goes over this, um, the yolk. It's like a protection, so yeah, as I said, there's anti-nutrients in it. And I've known this for years. I've been anemic for a long time. And I knew that anytime I'd have scrambled eggs, so I'd, I'd have scrambled eggs and, you know, just eggs. And um, I would always get more anemic. But, um, <laughs> cute little pup. But uh, this way, it makes sure that I'm not losing my iron from this. So this is perfect. I do also have some whole milk I just brought. That's in the cooler, which I forgot to get ice, so I gotta like crazy that. <laughs> but it's gonna be okay. Um, so I'm not having any dairy today because I need to strictly absorb iron. Strictly absorb, like just, yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. Almost done here. Glad I'm getting these all done. Cause I'm like, oh, these eggs just been sitting here. I need to eat them. Finally need to eat them. <laughs> yeah, so finally getting these eight. I'm starting to feel better. Uh, I think my skin is starting to look better. It's, it's just like, so I, I try to eat this way. Like I said, um, I've been bad. I've been off this diet for actually a couple. It's just, everything's been kind of crazy. So it's gotten me off my diet. But um, like, you know, I, I was, after I got 
and the hot springs situation with like getting sick with somebody like being in there i don't know if they had bacteria on their skin or what it was but i got so sick it was like oh man that was a mess so um I'm getting back on my diet slowly but surely. Uh, I do want to get a heart again. That heart was delicious. I did not get to finish it because what they did was they purposefully got me sick. So they hate me eating this way. I guess that they have a problem with it. But, um, you know, the thing about it is this diet is very, med it's medicinal, it's healthy. Okay, it's very medicinal for me. Like I said, when you're losing a lot of blood, like this is, this is the one way to, to make it up. Like, you know, so. It basically is, um, hold on a minute. <laughs> they, uh, did some pretty strong voodoo on me because I already know they were very angry about me eating the heart, very mad because first of all, it's a, you know, it's an ancestral food from my past life, eating raw meat, eating, especially liver like every time i eat the liver or like raw it's just like i don't know there's just something that i feel like i've tasted it before i, I can't really explain it so that's what's been done they're trying to do voodoo trying to like stop me eating this diet but the thing is that i would cook my meat if i had the ability to cook my meat but see the thing is it's been so windy there's times that i can't cook so i cook when i can but there's times I can't and when I can't cook and I really need nutrients this is how I'm eating so just to kind of explain to everybody like why I'm eating like this because um I don't have an oven I don't have a stove I don't have you know all that stuff I don't have I don't have it I would love to have an oven there there's some um you know these I want to make some nachos like really want to make some nachos but um I don't have the oven. So I, act, oh, I just got some egg white on my foot. Like, <laughs> kind of got, you know, in the way, but, um, you know, so I, I don't have to cook, slave on a stove for two hours in the wind with it not working. I don't have to do dishes, which I hate dishes. I, I hate it. I know I never did dishes in my past life. I know that I ate this way in my past life. And the dishes just really, it, it, it really just makes everything take longer. It, it just doesn't make, it's at a point where it's just not making sense. So I think at this point, I probably should just continue to eat this way for my health. Just continue to eat raw, you know, until, you know, if I do get a home where I can cook the meat. But I think that I should, I really should just stick to eating this way because it really is adding to more of the frustration, you know, of, just not getting a break you know and i do need to build my cleansing i need to like put a tent down which i think i'm getting frustrated just being in my car too much i haven't put a tent down for a very long time because it got so windy it was just fucking everything up and i i think that it, it's hard more so being in the car the tent is, is great oh my god it's heavenly it's heavenly in the tent i can put the air mattress down i'm chilling i'm good but this wind is creating a lot of the issues of um trying to do that so ah oh, so good so good I'm so it's so different to swallowing just the yolk and not the like white cheese so I'm like good. like you can feel like just in your throat I don't know it just feels it's just good so um just finishing this up and then now we're gonna we're gonna get to this I'm probably gonna be eating for a while you know it takes it does take me a little bit longer to eat the meat raw than it does cook um because it's like a different it's chewier it can be a little bit chewier in a way it can be a different texture so it does take me a little bit longer but um the way i feel is just so much better it's so medicinal like i had said so yeah so we're gonna get into that finish up these eggs so i have these two i had two eggs that were left over in this and i have my other eggs so <laughs> i gotta wash these so we'll just you know I, i'm just like fuck it i'll just deal with all the dishes like one day and just yeah so that's what's going on um that's my, my, <laughs> it's got a little water because the water from my ice from my cooler starts dripping and then it gets all my food, it gets into the egg thing. So it'll fill the whole egg thing with water from the ice from my cooler. So it can be a pain in the ass. So this is my, my um, meal. My, this is actually what this is, is this is kind of a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner. If I do get hungry later, I will possibly have milk. 
but I need to be careful with that because that also like I said that will inhibit the calcium inhibits the iron absorption so I gotta you know figure that out but let's get into this <laughs> okay whoa See, I'm not used to being, I'm used to being where there's mountains, where there's like cover, and it's not all windy like this. <laughs> That's what I'm used to. All right, so we've got some grass-fed raw liver. Oh yeah, ooh, so So we're gonna eat this whole package of this. This is what is really gonna do it for my anemia. Very nice cut. These cuts are perfect too. Got a really nice stack there. Very well. This is that first bite where mm, it just enters my body. I'm like, yeah, so my headache is more so gonna go away with this. And my like, you know, body pain, um, I get leg cramps. What really gets affected also is like my heart, my chest with the anemia. gorgeous day so everybody's just chilling it's awesome so you see they're um laying down they're just it's like they're at the beach and i thought like oh my god it's so cool i was like they're just chilling like they're at the beach like they're just laying down on the grass and I look like swimming. Oh. okay i'm not married i'm all i don't know dress is like blown up with the okay oh boy i see that's the thing about it is um <laughs> it's hot as fuck but this wind that comes in like oh my gosh and it's all like you know all really windy here so the mountains yeah i don't I, that's one thing that kind of can be a little difficult for me is the wind like that's a big change dealing with the wind at times but yeah so i'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna get my paper towels i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna dig in because it's like i have to kind of eat this and you know it's um gonna really make a difference still got that orange juice so we'll be having this whole bottle of orange juice very fresh orange juice and I do have actually a whole tangelo too um so we'll, we'll probably eat that so I'm just, I just want to just get all my food you know I like to eat definitely while the sun's up you know get the sun on the food take some time here in the sunlight get my skin looking um you know back to normal because i i don't like um when i start getting pale i don't like that i, I really don't like it my skin starts looking dull and i don't like that at all so it's like that's not that's not gonna happen with me <laughs> you know like uh-uh uh-uh no uh-uh that's not gonna work like <laughs> i'm it's like i'm sorry when i start when i like i looked in the morning at this morning i'm like damn i'm not looking too good like i gotta get i gotta yeah <laughs> Like, I know for the past three days, I've been knowing. I'm like, bitch, you know you need raw liver. Come on, bitch. Like, that's what I've been. That's what it has been the past. Like, I swear. And it's been like, bitch, you, you need to eat. I swear. Like, I've been just. I don't know what I've been doing. I don't fucking know. Like, I know that. It's like, I know that I need this. I know it. So, I'm just pulling away, like, that part. Which is, that's the part that, like, gets cheesy and annoying. So, I'm like, my, my body's like, bitch, you know you need this. You know, like, you know, it's, it's not. You know, so it's like <laughs> I gotta heal right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this and um, let's get more and more into it as I eat it. I start eating more and more, and oh, gotta feel it, start feeling better good <laughs> so it's got a little bloody a little bit it's a little bit of a kind of a mess but um 
Shit, it reminds me of the mess that I'm dealing with. <laughs> it's a bloody mess, and I'm dealing with a bloody mess, and uh, yeah, I guess it's like the bloody mess takes care of the bloody mess. It's like, yeah, it's like I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, yeah, so basically. Oh, okay, flies trying to come around here. That's a problem. Yeah, it's hot. It's so hot out here. It's so different. It's so weird. So here we piece here. This is a little bit frozen. That looks really good. That is a really nice cut of liver. It's a really nice cut. This is, yeah, this is a really good. Because sometimes the pieces I've gotten in was like, it's been small, teeny pieces. Yeah. Oh, there we go. One. I wonder if like a big one that they brought out. They brought like some, it was like a jet like type of thing. So. They get really mad when they eat this way. The government, um, actually, so the government will target you if you eat this way. Because on all the packaging, every bit of packaging that they have, it says wash your meat, cook your meat, and um. Oh, I love that bird. I don't know what that bird is, but there's a bird that makes that sound, and I like it. So the government will target you if you eat this way because uh, they want you to, you have to cook your meat, you have to wash it, eat. there's a regulation on each package. So yeah, as I'm saying, I know I'm repeating myself, sorry. <laughs> the regulation on each package that says you need to wash your meat, you need to cook it to a certain inter internal temperature. And they're okay eating it rare and stuff. And it's kind of like for me, like I said, I don't ever eat meat. Like, it's either raw or it's either fully cooked. I won't eat it in between. And I feel like eating it in between is kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't like the taste of meat half cooked, half raw. I don't, I don't like it. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird to me. It's just weird. I don't like it. I like kite stuff. Like I like. 